Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. We're looking at some shelving, uh, some stacks of ANET ET4 and ET4X printers, and some Tronic CXY2 uh, Pro printers on the bottom there, some King Rune printers, some resin printers, uh, lots of filament, all of this stuff going in the new print farm. And if you remember a few weeks ago, this was the mess that we started with. And we'll just speed up and take you through the cleaning process uh, right up to getting that floor painted and ready for our 3D print farm. Okay, first day of the cleanup. Uh, where to get started? Okay, we've been working for a while. We finally got these two tables folded up got all the stuff cleared off of them just kind of back-breaking work for an old man okay there we are another day I'm going to spend a little more time trying to clean up the place as you could see the last time I did this section here okay I think my back's about to give out, so I think I'll call it a day here. But uh, as you can see, I did get this center section cleaned out. Okay, well, after a lot more hours than what I imagined, I finally got the uh, room here cleaned out for our 3D printer print room and uh, this is where my secondary print farm is going to be located as you can see I have a little bit of problem with the floor in here this is the paint I was talking about however I went and purchased this scraper at uh, Ace Hardware and you can see this little section I've done, it looks like this stuff's going to come right up off the floor. So let's get on with the scraping and see how it does. Okay, I think my back's done all of the floor, floor scraping I can do for one day. As you can see, uh, some of this paint is not scraping off very easily. So, in those areas, I have a gallon of goof off. And I put a little bit of it in this corner the other day. To loosen up some of the paint that was not scraping up back there and I had to order the floor paint the floor paint will be here uh, sometime uh, Thursday so I've got two more days to wait for that and I want to get the floor paint 
and I want to put some of it on that spot where I used the goof off just to make sure that there's not some kind of reaction between the goof off and the floor paint. I'd hate to do all of this and then have the floor just crinkle up and peel off again. So um, we'll do a little test. Uh, the old analogy when I was in construction was measure twice, cut once. Uh, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to test this thing and uh, make sure that it's going to work before we do this whole floor. Okay, here's the sample area that we painted where we painted over the goof off and it looks like the paint did well. There's no bubbles, no cracks, uh, no wrinkles. So it looks like we're good to go with painting the rest of the floor. Uh, while I'm out here, I thought I'd mention a few things. As you recall, this room was originally intended to be a paint booth for automobiles, uh, although I never used it for that. But you see these vents, uh, that's a filtration system for incoming air to actually filter the air coming in um, so that there wouldn't be dust, a dusty environment in here um, with the painting of the car. Uh, it's going to work very well with printers because we'll be able to have a relatively dust-free environment by having fresh air coming in through these vents. But on the other side, I'm working over there, and I'll be doing a video on it uh, while we're waiting for this other stuff to get uh, come in. And that's where the uh, resin printers are going to be. And we've got a special filtration system for that, or uh, ventilation system for that, since uh, we don't want to fill these rooms up full of uh, fumes and gases from the resin printing. Okay, we're ready to do some final scraping and sweeping and cleaning this floor up and getting it ready for the final paint job. So let's watch now and see how quickly we can get this floor cleaned and painted. Go to it, painter. Well, here we are again, and as you can see, I spared no expense 
and hired a professional to do the cleaning and floor painting and uh, I think he did a pretty good job for an old man uh, but now as you can see the uh, room is finally ready it won't be long now and we'll be putting in the shelving and the printers and getting this print farm going hope you keep watching and let's see if we can see some progress over this next week.